Hey guys, welcome to Dave's Crazy Kitchen. Well, guess what? I got a GoPro, so we're gonna try this thing out and I'm gonna try to shoot a video with this new GoPro. But what is Dave making today? I am gonna make homemade vegetable soup. So what do I got? I got some carrots over here. I got some zucchini, a little bit of, um, I'm sorry, squash, uh, zucchini. I've got some celery here. So I got organic uh, broccoli, and this is all organic, okay? Uh, a bell pepper, I've got some tomatoes, some peeled garlic over here, and these are like purple uh, potatoes. The same thing as a red potato, but the purple, and you know, they just happen to be really cheap today. Uh, some onions, and I've got some organic vegetable broth, okay? So these are the simple ingredients that I'm going to use to make a vegetable soup. Now, of course, you can use whatever you like, okay? And, of course, what's not pictured is I'm going to add some um, corn in here. Just I really couldn't find it at the store today, or at least I didn't want to pay the price they were charging for corn. But that's also going to go into the pot. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dice this stuff up, but I'm also going to put it into the smoker because I'm going to smoke the tomatoes like I did before. I'm also going to go ahead and smoke the bell peppers. I'm going to smoke the potatoes. I'm also going to smoke the onion and, of course, the garlic. So stay tuned as Dave shows you how to make vegetable soup. So here I've got my lovely assistant or sous chef peeling the carrots. And we're also working on peeling those potatoes. Remember those tomatoes? Remember that core? Same thing. We're going to go ahead and core these tomatoes again. Just like we did in the previous video. Why are we doing that? Well, because of the smoke. We want the smoke to penetrate into the actual tomato. So again, push really hard and keep rotating until it pops through. And now you have this beautiful core. Simply throw it away. We're going to go ahead and core all the tomatoes. And then we're going to go ahead and finish slicing and dicing all of the vegetables. I decided to take that onion and actually take that vegetable core and core right down the middle of it. I figured, hey, why not? I'm doing the tomatoes. Might as well do the onion too. Alright, so now we took the the, uh, the squash and we're going to we peel it. Now we diced it up and now what we're going to do is we're going to actually make it in two quarters and we're going to add it into this little tray I have over here that has the uh, broccoli in it. Now we're going to go ahead and slice into the bell pepper. We're just going to grab the center out here, kind of put off the side because I actually like that. I might save that and make some, you know, or plant some bell peppers here. Now we're going to take it down and we're slice it right here so it kind of rolls down the middle here. Now, what you can do is take a knife and lightly cut the actual core, or, you know, whatever you want to call this stuff. I'm not sure exactly what they call this center stuff here. So you get a nice, good, little even piece of your bell pepper. And we're going to kind of do the same thing. I, I think they call it the stem. I'm really not sure. So you are more than welcome to... Uh, comment below and you know tell me what they actually call this particular stuff that comes out of the bell pepper. Now I got the bell pepper kind of sliced up a little bit and I'm just gonna dice it up so it's kind of you know small little pieces here and that way there it makes and enhances the actual soup itself. Okay so here we're gonna go ahead and we're basically gonna dice up some celery here and just kind of taking some rough cuts real quick here. Trim off some of the, the garbage, throw it over in the sink. Now, I know some people, I've been told, will take the rough cut stuff, the thing that you don't really use in your soup, and they'll kind of still add it in the pot initially, and that's because you want it to be used to, you know, make your broth. So we're just going to kind of dice these up, and we'll move on to the next step. Now we're going to go ahead and dice those peeled carrots. 
Now, we're kind of making them a little thick, no big deal. Because it is vegetable soup. Now, when you get towards the end here, which gets real thick, those ones there, you can actually take them and kind of, you know, cut them in half or even into the quarters if you like. Okay, so now we're going to cut up the potatoes. So we're going to cut it in half first. We're going to lay them down. Cut them again, lengthwise. Okay, now you have basically four pieces. Rough cut them. You know, kind of like maybe, you know, a half inch or a quarter inch into these little cubes. So you got these little cubes about that big. Now, that might be too big for soup, so kind of cut them up again. You want to dice them up until they're like nice little small pieces that would be normally found in a soup. Something like, like these, you know. So you want to dice them up again into the nice and fine and just, you know, just diced up. So now into the pot, we're going to add the chicken broth. Now remember, we're using organic chicken broth. And we're going to actually add two containers of this chicken broth to the actual pot. Now this one here happens to be a 32 ounce jar. We're going to add two of these into the pot. Okay, so what did I decide to do? Remember all those clippings and cuts and all that other stuff, all those leftover vegetables that we were thinking about throwing away? Well, guess what? I decided to actually add all of that to this pot while the you know, this stuff is smoking on the smoker. So we're just gonna add all of the extra vegetable clippings to the pot and bring it to a boil. Then what we're gonna do is remove all of this stuff and discard it because now it's just going to enhance the actual vegetable broth. To this, we're also going to add three to four basil leaves. So into the Traeger, the vegetable goes into the smoker. And I've got a smoker attachment over here that I'm using to smoke the, uh, or add a little bit extra smoke to it. So here's the tray of vegetables into the Traeger. We're just going to let the vegetables smoke away, maybe about an hour to an hour and a half. And then we're going to turn it up and grill them before we add it to the actual vegetable soup. Now, all the vegetables have been added to the pot. And you can see the <laughs> pot's almost pretty full. Well, now we're going to add that smoked garlic. Just put them in a little garlic press, squeeze it. And then it comes out nice and good. Keep adding the cloves until all your garlic has been pressed. Now, I like this garlic press. Believe it or not, I actually got this one at Ikea. A couple dollars. And it's actually one of my, my favorite garlic presses. So again, just, you know, press it really good until all the garlic has been crushed. Now, after the garlic has been added into the pot, just give it a nice, good stir. Now, also, turn your heat down to simmer or low as possible. And let this stuff simmer for a couple hours, if you don't mind. The longer that you let it simmer, the better the flavor is going to be. Well, this is how you make vegetable soup. Well, thanks for watching Crazy Dave's Kitchen. Enjoy.